Hello guys, welcome back to Bike Geek. Today, I'll show you how to connect two computers using an ethernet or LAN cable for seamless and fast file sharing. This method allows you to share files without the need for a Wi-Fi router or internet connection. By the end of this tutorial, you'll learn how to establish a network connection, how to enable file sharing, how to transfer files between the two computers. Let's get started. Step one, connect the ethernet cable. To begin, take a standard Ethernet or LAN cable. Plug one end into the Ethernet port of the first computer. Plug the other end into the Ethernet port of the second computer. This physical connection forms the foundation for communication between the two systems. Now that the computers are physically connected, we need to establish a network connection. To do this, we'll assign static IP addresses to both computers so they are on the same network. On the first computer, open the Network Connections page by typing Network Connections in the search bar. Right-click on the Ethernet adapter and select Properties. Find and select Internet Protocol version 4, then click Properties. In the dialog box, select Use the following IP address and enter the following details. IP address 192 dot one six eight dot one dot one hundred subnet mask you will automatically get default gateway leave it blank or enter the same IP click OK to save next step is enable network sharing on computers to share files you need to enable network sharing on both computers go back to network and internet setting then network and sharing center in left-hand side, click on Change Advanced Sharing Settings. In the Settings window, you'll see options for free network profiles, private, public, and all networks. For private and public networks, turn on Network Discovery. Enable File and Printer Sharing. For all networks, enable Public Folder Sharing. Turn off Password Protected Sharing to make file access easier. Repeat these steps on both computers to ensure they're configured to share files over the LAN connection. Now let's configure our second computer so we can communicate through LAN wire. Follow the previous same steps to go network setting. Repeat the same steps to open the TCP slash IPv4 properties dialog box. Enter the following details. IP address 192 .168.1.101 Default Gateway Enter the first computer's IP address in the default. Click OK to save. Now enable network sharing on this computer, so follow the steps. Make sure network discovery is turned on in this computer. Also file and printer sharing is turned on. Now it's time to share files. On the first computer, create or locate the folder you want to share. Right click on the folder and select give access to specific people. In the sharing window, select everyone from the drop down menu and click add. Set permissions to read-write so files can be accessed and modified. Click Share and note down the network location of the shared folder. Also after this, one last step you have to do is right-click again on the same folder and go to Properties. Then go Sharing tab, click on Advanced Sharing, check on Share this folder option, then go to Permission and allow full control and apply to save the changes. Now you can share files inside this folder, copy the file you want to share, and we will access this folder from our other computer. On the second computer, open File Explorer and type the network location of the shared folder into the address bar and type double forward slash, then IP address of your first computer, slash, then shared folder name. Hit enter and the shared folder will open. Copy and paste files between the two computers as needed. 
This method works only between Windows computers. If you're using Mac or Linux, you'll need alternative file sharing methods. For large file transfers, the speed of the Ethernet connection ensures quicker sharing compared to Wi-Fi. And that's it. You've successfully connected two computers using an Ethernet cable and shared files between them. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the bell icon to stay updated with more tech tutorials. Have questions or run into issues? Drop a comment below and I'll be happy to help. See you in the next video.